Welcome back to the cabin. I came up this week for a few days and the main purpose of the trip is to pick up a sunfish sailboat that a friend of mine is giving me. I brought my trailer up this trip and I have to put some uh, boards on it that I can put the sunfish on. So I've got to build those first and once that's done I'll go over and uh, pick up the sunfish. And then I'll get to uh, whatever else I can do while I'm up here. But um, yeah, let's get started. I was just looking here where I have to pull the car up to on the side there. And that uh, pine tree that's leaning over, I need to cut that off so I can drive up next to that tree and then back down with the trailer. So uh, after we unload the car, uh, that'll be the first thing that I need to do. Well, I got smart for once. Instead of cutting that tree immediately, I decided just to pull up here a little ways and back down and put the trailer there. So that's a good spot because I have to work on it tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we're going to go get the sunfish sailboat. So it doesn't need to be up in this area the next couple days. And that'll give me time to get the weed whacker out and clear that brush where the trailer normally lives and to take care of that pine tree that's fell. Cooking dinner tonight. I picked up. Uh, one of these Coleman uh, butane stoves and I use that until I get the oven hooked up and uh, we have uh, having hamburgers tonight and uh, a little bit of cheese on them so first time using this it's uh, easy to put the bottle of butane in and the directions were good straightforward the only thing they don't want you to do is use a griddle that hangs over the fuel compartment here because that needs to have um, stay cool because that's where the butane cylinder is in there. Back to cooking now. The project for today is to get these two boards secured to the trailer. I'm going to use them as bunks to rest the sailboat on. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm drilling half inch holes and tying the boards down uh, front and back. And then I'll cover them with carpeting. So we get one down and uh, looks good so far. I have to go and see how to make a sheet bend knot now. So far, so good. So this is my finished uh, racks for the sunfish. I put some carpet at the far end because that's the end that's going to wear or rub when I bring it out of the water. And I'm going to put some uh, weight on the, uh, the front end some counterweights just so the loads in balance and we'll see how this works the rains held off they said it was supposed to uh, rain late morning and it's been partly cloudy all day so I'll take it the pine tree that was blocking my access to the back of the cabin I cut down it's on the ground there, and it was right up in that area before hanging over. So, uh, yeah, now when I get the boat, I can pull up in there behind the cabin and then back down and uh, park it here. Get the weed whacker out next. Breakfast today, scrambled eggs and bacon. 
cooked on the Coleman butane stove. Well, we got to get the sunfish on the trailer, and uh, everything's looking good. The worst part of this whole operation was uh, me back in the trailer down this road, which took like 15 minutes, because I'm not very good at it yet. But uh, yeah, it was real easy to pull the sunfish up on the trailer, and uh, the back is uh, just about clearing the back of the pieces of wood and uh, the bow comes up a bit so it just about a foot of it comes forward of the uh, the frame so uh, I couldn't ask for anything better so we'll get out of the water here and then tie it down good and then start back so I pulled it off the boat ramp into the parking lot and uh, tied it down good. So we'll head back to the cabin now. Well, I got the string trimmer out. It's over there by the bulkhead. And uh, I knocked down a lot of the growth around the cabin. Uh, over underneath where I put the boat, I knocked that down. And over here is uh, the septic field. That was crazy. I knocked that all down too. So I don't usually do unboxings, but we'll do a quick one right now. I picked up this uh, Ryobi One fan. It runs off uh, the 18 volt batteries. And uh, figure it'd be useful up here at the cabin. So let's see what we got here. We got the fan. Now we got some instructions. Hopefully, don't need the instructions. So there we go. What we got here? So in the back. So this fan will run on uh, 110 volts also. So it's got the prongs here. So I have to plug an extension cord into there. And this looks like the uh, hole for the battery. Plug that in. And we get three speeds here. All right, it's working. So this is uh, low speed. It's supposed to be super quiet. I guess it is. It's quiet. And it's got three speeds. And the third speed uh, really moves some air. I'll just be using it on one, I think. But uh, yeah, if I have to sleep up in the loft in the summertime, then uh, I can use this to uh, get a little cooling going. So there's enough room here to put the large power pack on too. Um, just a fan motor, so I assume it doesn't uh, take up much uh, electricity, much of a charge. And we got, well, there's some mounting pieces down here so you could hang it on a wall. And it doesn't swivel, if you will, side to side, but it swivels up and down. This will be a nice uh, addition to the cabin. My neighbor gave me these eight ditch lilies about two years ago. And they're nice and green, but I don't know if we'll get a flower out of them this year or not. The problem is there's too much shade back there from the woods. They really like the sunlight. The first year I put them in, I had flowers. Second year, which I think was last year, no flowers. Uh, so we'll see what they do this year. If they do flower, it's a nice orange color, 
gives a little color back here. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this trip. Like I said, the main goal was to pick up the sunfish and build a platform for the trailer for it to rest on. And all that was accomplished. And it's back here safe and sound. Maybe next trip I'll uh, take it out on the lake. Didn't get a lot done on the inside the cabin, but that's okay. I trimmed up the vegetation that was growing all around, so that's good. And I tested out my new Coleman single burner butane stove, and the thing works great. I'm going to get in the car now, drive the two and a half hours back to home. Hopefully there'll be no traffic. And uh, we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again at the cabin next time.